The quick adjust cutting units from John Deere Golf, the fastest, easiest cutting units to adjust ever, are the biggest revolution in cutting units in decades. The adjustments and tools you use are similar for all cutting units, which saves you time. And with less hassle adjusting cutting units, you'll save money. The key is our revolutionary speed link system that lets you quickly adjust the height of cut from either side of the cutting unit. The new notch system for adjusting your cut quality is quick and easily accessible. Adjusting attachments like greens or fairway tender conditioners and rear roller power brushes are quick on all cutting units. And to make it even better, you can make all of these adjustments with one 5 8 inch or 16 millimeter wrench or socket. This video will give you information on the improved design and show you just how quick and easy it is to make these and other adjustments that are critical to your quality of cut. Now, before starting, a few words of caution. To avoid injury, always remember that the blades are sharp and rotate quickly. Use caution when dismounting the machine to service the cutting units. Always stop the machine and disengage the reel drive by moving the mode transport lever to the transport position. Lower the cutting units to the ground, lock the park brake, stop the engine, and remove the key. Always wait for the reels and all moving parts to stop before starting your adjustments. And always wear gloves while working on cutting units. If a cutting unit is blocked or stalled, do not use your hand to clear the blockage. Use a stick or a long object to dislodge the blockage. Keep all parts of your body away from the cutting edges. Remember, residual hydraulic pressure in the system can cause the reels to rotate when the blockage is released. The Quick Adjust or QA cutting units are available in two reel diameters. The QA5 cutting units with a 5 inch diameter reel are available on greens mowers and fairway mowers. QA5 cutting units are available with a choice of either 11 or 7 blades and 18 or 22 inch widths. The QA7 cutting units with a 7 inch diameter reel are used on fairway mowers and trim and surrounds mowers. The QA7 units are available with a 22 inch cutting unit width and a choice of 8 or 10 blades or in 26 and 30 inch widths with a choice of either 5 or 8 blades. Now, let's start with the QA5 cutting unit's bed knife to reel adjustment. Since you set your height of cut based on the position of the bed knife, always make the bed knife to reel adjustment before setting the height of cut. Use the adjuster towers located on each side of the cutting unit to adjust the bed knife to reel. Each tower uses a notch system to move the bed knife one half of one thousandths of an inch or .012 millimeters with each notch. This lets technicians quickly adjust the cut in the shop and out on the course. To start, turn both tower adjusters counterclockwise with a 5 8 inch or 16 millimeter wrench or socket until the bed knife makes contact with the reel on each side of the bed knife. Then, turn both towers clockwise, one notch at a time, alternating from side to side, and checking with a one thousandth of an inch or .025 millimeter feeler gauge until the bed knife begins to pull away from the reel and the reel rotates freely. Using a feeler gauge will allow you to set the bed knife clearance equally from side to side. John Deere does not recommend contact between the bed knife and reel. Continue alternating the adjuster one notch at a time, pulling the bed knife away from the reel until the clearance reaches one one thousandths of an inch or .025 millimeters. To maintain sharp reels in bed knives, we suggest that you establish a regular backlapping combined with a precision relief spin grinding program. Backlapping maintains a sharp cutting edge and grinding restores a dull or damaged cutting edge. Now let's set the height of cut range on the QA5 units. Always make sure the height of cut range is set correctly before setting the height of cut. The QA5 cutting front roller is fixed and is used to determine the height of cut range of the cutting unit. The rear roller is used to fine tune the height of cut setting within a set height range. John Deere uses the rear roller to adjust height to ensure that as the cutting unit height is lowered, the cut becomes less aggressive to improve cut quality and to ensure that the grass plant is not damaged. 
First, see the chart in your owner's manual to determine the proper number of the height of cut range that corresponds to your desired height. This number is also located on your roller brackets, so you can quickly adjust your range. The front roller also uses notches cast into the side frames to ensure that once the hardware is tight, the roller bracket will not move during the ups and downs of operation on the course. To set the height of cut range, loosen the nut on both roller brackets. Align the mark on the cutting unit housing with the corresponding height of cut range number on the roller bracket. Do this on both sides of the roller and tighten the nuts. Now, we need to parallel the front roller to the bed knife. We recommend using a bench plate to parallel the reel to the front roller, especially if the QA5 cutting unit is being used on greens. Set the bench plate on a workbench or flat surface. Then, set the cutting unit on the bench plate so the bed knife rests firmly against the plate stop and the reel rests on top of the plate stop. Also, make sure the rear roller is not touching the bench plate. Loosen the socket head cap screw on one of the roller brackets. Then, rotate the eccentric adjuster until the front roller sits flat and parallel with the bench plate. Check the gap to make sure it does not exceed two thousandths of an inch maximum or .050 millimeters. Then, hold the eccentric adjuster and re-tighten the socket head cap screw. Next, move to the opposite side roller bracket and loosen the socket head cap screw. Then, rotate the eccentric adjuster until the front roller sits flat and parallel with the bench plate. Check the gap to make sure it does not exceed two thousandths of an inch maximum or .050 millimeters. Then, hold the eccentric adjuster and retighten the socket head cap screw. The reel is now parallel to the front roller. To parallel the front roller to the bed knife using a height of cut gauge bar, rest the gauge bar against the front roller approximately 2 inches or 51 millimeters from the end of the bed knife. Making sure the height of cut bolt head is resting over the lip of the bed knife, hold the end of the gauge bar against the bottom of the front roller while making sure it is not touching the rear roller. Loosen the wing nut and turn the lower screw on the gauge bar until the screw contacts the flat edge of the bed knife. When the screw touches the bed knife, tighten the wing nut. Next, move your gauge bar to the opposite side and rest it against the front roller approximately 2 inches or 51 millimeters from the end of the bed knife. Loosen the socket head cap screw and rotate the eccentric adjuster until the top of the lower gauge screw contacts the bed knife. The front roller is now parallel to the bed knife. Now, let's fine tune the height of cut. The best thing about the Quick Adjust Reel's height of cut adjustment is the speed link system. The speed link system lets you make the adjustment from either side of the cutting unit. There's no more reaching under the machine to make the opposite side adjustment. Just use a power drill, speed wrench, or socket wrench on one side of the rear roller and the speed link bar simultaneously adjusts both sides. And because the speed link uses a worm gear, the height of cut stays set. To fine tune the height of cut, set the center bolt of your gauge bar to your desired height and lock the wing nut. Rest the gauge bar against the front roller approximately 2 inches or 51 millimeters from the end of the bed knife and hook the bolt head over the lip of the bed knife. To adjust the height of cut using a cordless power drill, speed wrench, or socket wrench, attach a 5 8 inch or 16 millimeter socket and turn the adjuster located on the side of the rear roller housing until the rear roller contacts the gauge bar. Caution! Do not use impact wrenches on the speed link system or damage may occur. The graphic on the side of the cutting unit tells you the direction to turn the adjuster. Turn the adjuster toward the tall grass to raise the height of cut and turn the adjuster toward the short grass to lower the height. Use the gauge bar and check both sides to make sure they are set at the same height. If a side to side adjustment is necessary, pull against the spring tensioned speed link bar to disconnect it from the hex coupling and remove the bar. Then turn the adjuster until the height of cut is equal on both sides and reinstall the speed link bar. 
The QA5 has the additional feature that extends the use of your worn reel. When the diameter of the reel wears to about 4.8 inches, or 122 millimeters, the rear of the bed knife may drag on the turf. You can use the eccentric on the bed knife shoe to reposition the bed knife to the reel, to increase the use of the reel, and to increase the clearance at the rear of the bed knife. To do this, remove the hardware on the eccentric and remove the eccentric from both sides of the bed knife shoe. Flip the eccentric 180 degrees and insert it back into the reel. Then reinstall and tighten the hardware. When finished, you will then need to move your front roller to the worn reel position as noted in your operator's manual. Then reset the height of cut. The QA5 cutting unit has an adjustable top shield to either disperse clippings or throw grass deep into the grass catchers. You can adjust the shield to increase the velocity of the grass as it is ejected from the cutting unit. Start by loosening the two bolts and lock nuts on each side of the cutting unit. Then raise or lower the shield to your desired position. Be sure that there is approximately 1 16th of an inch or 1.5 millimeters clearance between the bottom of the shield and the blades and tighten the bolts. Now let's look at the adjustments for the QA7 cutting units starting with the reel to bed knife adjustment. QA7 cutting units are built with strength in mind for tough conditions and grasses. They have double torque tubes across the top of the unit and welded side frames and the bed knife shoe is an integral part of the frame assembly. The bed knife on the QA7 cutting unit is fixed to give maximum strength to the cutting unit frame. So on QA7 units you adjust the reel to the bed knife. Since the bed knife does not move you do not have to readjust or check your height of cut as often as with cutting units that have a movable bed knife. To adjust the reel to bed knife, you will use the adjuster towers located on top of each side of the cutting unit. Each tower uses a notch system to move the bed knife one half of one thousandth of an inch or .025 millimeters with each notch. This allows technicians to quickly adjust the cut in the shop and out on the course. To start, turn both tower adjusters with a 5 8 inch or 16 millimeter wrench or socket counterclockwise until the reel makes contact with the bed knife on each side of the reel. Then turn both towers clockwise, one notch at a time, alternating from side to side and checking with a 2 one thousandths of an inch or .050 millimeter feeler gauge until the reel begins to pull away from the bed knife and the reel rotates freely. Using a feeler gauge will allow you to best set the reel to bed knife clearance equally from side to side. John Deere does not recommend contact between the reel and bed knife. Continue alternating the adjuster one notch at a time, pulling the reel away from the bed knife until the clearance reaches two one thousandths of an inch or .050 millimeters. To maintain sharp reels and bed knives, we suggest that you establish a regular backlapping combined with a precision relief spin grinding program. Backlapping maintains a sharp cutting edge and grinding restores a dull or damaged cutting edge. Now let's set the height of cut range and height of cut on the QA7 units. Always set the height of cut range before setting the height of cut. The QA7 cutting unit front roller is fixed and used to determine the height of cut range of the cutting unit. You adjust the rear roller within the height range to fine tune the height of cut setting. John Deere uses the rear roller to adjust height to ensure that as the cutting unit height is lowered, the cut becomes less aggressive to ensure that the grass plant is not damaged. First, See the chart in your owner's manual to determine the proper number of the height of cut range that corresponds to your desired height. This number is also located on your roller brackets so you can quickly adjust your range. The front roller also uses notches cast into the frame bracket to ensure that once the hardware is tight, the roller bracket will not move during the ups and downs of operation on the course. To set the height of cut range, loosen the nut on both roller brackets. Align the mark on the frame bracket with the corresponding height of cut range number on the roller bracket. Do this on both sides of the roller and tighten the nuts. Now we need to parallel the front roller to the bed knife. 
To parallel the front roller to the bed knife, use a two-bolt height-of-cut gauge bar. Rest the gauge bar against the front roller approximately 2 inches or 51 millimeters from the end of the bed knife. Make sure the height of cut bolt head is resting over the lip of the bed knife. Hold the end of the gauge bar against the bottom of the front roller. Loosen the wing nut and turn the lower screw on the gauge bar until the screw contacts the flat edge of the bed knife. When the screw touches the bed knife, tighten the wing nut. Next, move your gauge bar to the opposite side and rest it against the front roller approximately 2 inches or 51 millimeters from the end of the bed knife. Loosen the socket head cap screw and rotate the eccentric adjuster until the top of the lower gauge screw contacts the bed knife. Then, tighten the socket head screw. The front roller is now parallel to the bed knife. The best thing about the Quick Adjust Reel's height of cut adjustment is the speed link system. The speed link system lets you make the adjustment from either side of the cutting unit. There's no more reaching under the machine to make the opposite side adjustment. Just use a power drill or socket wrench on one side of the rear roller, and the speed link bar simultaneously adjusts both sides. And because the speed link bar uses a worm gear, the height of cut stays set. To fine tune the height of cut, set the center bolt of your gauge bar to your desired height, and lock the wing nut. Rest the gauge bar against the front roller approximately 2 inches or 51 millimeters from the end of the bed knife and hook the bolt head over the lip of the bed knife. To adjust the height of cut using a cordless power drill or socket wrench, attach a 5 8 inch or 16 millimeter socket and turn the adjuster located on the top of the rear roller housing until the rear roller contacts the gauge bar. Caution. Do not use impact wrenches on the speed link system or damage may occur. The graphic on the side of the cutting unit tells you the direction to turn the adjuster. Turn the adjuster toward the tall grass to raise the height of cut and turn the adjuster toward the short grass to lower the height. Check the opposite side of the cutting unit with the gauge bar to make sure both sides are set at the same height and adjust if necessary. If a side-to-side -side adjustment is necessary, pull against the spring-tensioned speed link bar to disconnect it from the hex coupling and remove the bar. Then, turn the adjuster until the height of cut is equal on both sides and reinstall the speed link bar. The QA7 cutting unit has an adjustable top shield to either disperse clippings or throw grass deep into the grass catchers. You can adjust the shield to increase the velocity of the grass as it is ejected from the cutting unit. Start by loosening the four bolts on either side of the cutting unit. Then, lower or raise the shield to your desired position. Be sure that there is approximately a sixteenth of an inch or 1.5 millimeters clearance between the bottom of the shield and the blades. And, tighten the bolts. Whether you use the optional Fairway Tender Conditioner, FTC, or the Greens Tender Conditioner, GTC, both operate the same. Each is gear driven, and the conditioner blades rotate in the opposite direction of the reel to better stand up the grass prior to cutting. Because they are gear driven, they can be turned off when not in use. You can operate the blades in the raised or lowered position. Turn the T-handles on each side of the cutting unit to lower the blades for grooming or to raise the blades and help with clipping dispersal. Conditioners are available for 18-inch and 22-inch QA5 cutting units and 22-inch and 26-inch QA7 cutting units. You can quickly adjust the Green's Tender Conditioner and Fairway Tender Conditioner to meet the changing conditions on your course. Always be sure to set the height of cut before adjusting the conditioner blade depth setting. The initial height setting made on the GTC or FTC should be the same as the height of cut to prevent damage to the turf. To start, rotate the conditioner drive T handles to move the blades down into the working position. Set the adjustment screw on your gauge to your desired operating depth of the conditioner blades. Place the height of cut gauge bar on the cutting unit so the screw is hooked on the bed knife and the gauge bar rests on both rollers. Turn the adjuster lock nut on top of both T-handle adjusters to increase or decrease the depth. 
Continue adjusting by alternating from side to side until the blades touch the top of the screw. The optional rear roller power brush helps with clipping dispersal and helps to keep your height of cut consistent by keeping your rear roller clean. Rear roller power brushes are available for 18 inch and 22 inch QA5 cutting units and 22 inch and 26 inch QA7 cutting units. You can quickly adjust the optional rear roller power brush for optimum performance. The proper setting between brush and roller is 40 thousandths of an inch or one millimeter. When adjusted correctly, the brush bristles should barely clear the full length of the roller. To adjust the brush, loosen or tighten the lock nuts evenly on both sides of the roller brush until the gap between the bristles and the roller is approximately 40 thousandths of an inch or one millimeter. To avoid damaging the brush, be sure the brush does not contact the rear roller. The brush bracket is mounted to and moves with the rear roller. So once the brush is set, you do not have to readjust it when you change your height of cut. The brush is a belt drive system that you can easily adjust. To adjust the belt, loosen the two screws located on the back of the housing. Rotate the belt gear eccentric to increase or decrease belt tension. This system lets you quickly adjust the belt or remove it if necessary. The Quick Adjust Cutting Units from John Deere Golf are the easiest and fastest cutting units to adjust ever. They're a new innovation that is inspired by you. For more information on the Quick Adjust Cutting Units, see your operator's manual or contact your nearest John Deere Golf distributor.